Good morning, students. Welcome to our maths class. We were in the chapter decimal fractions exercise four F. In the page number sixty-seven, let us see question number six. In the previous class we have discussed the, all the previous sums. Now question six. Find the value of this zero point five of Seven rupees sixty pies plus one point six two of thirty rupees. This result we have to find out first. This result also we have to find out. Both the results we have to add. That gives you the final result which we require. Is it clear? Let us see. Here O F half half means multiplication. Half means. Multiplication. Zero point five should multiply with seven rupees sixty pies plus one point six two should multiply with thirty. So here multiplication, here also multiplication. Seven point six zero and zero point five. We have multiplied like an ordinary multiplication. We got an answer. Your point is after one digit. Your point is after two digits, so I have arranged your point after three digits. Okay now, so three point eight zero zero. You know how to multiply them like an ordinary multiplication. Then here one point six two should multiply with two thirty. Then when we get the answer, we should place a point here now. That is after two digits. There is a point. So point is arranged after two digits, as we thought earlier. Now, first answer taken, plus symbol. Second answer I have taken. Both we have to add in the rough. You will get answer card fifty two point four zero zero. That can be written as fifty two point four zero. That is only in rupees. Here rupees there. Here also rupees there. So rupees and rupees. If we add, finally we we will get money only that is in rupees. Called fifty two rupees and forty pence. Is it clear, students? Just simplification. Finally we are getting the value of it. That's why they said find the value of first part plus second part. Both the values were arranged with their multiplications separately. And by adding both of them, as they said here, plus symbol, finally we got an answer called fifty-two rupees forty pence. It is clear now for you. In the same page sixty-seven, question number seven, we will see. There also we have to simplify or find the values which are given. See once seventh question, first bit five point six minus one point five of Three point four. Separately arrange in your bracket that part because these two should multiply to get one answer. That is five point one zero. We got answer. In the rough, we have to multiply these two numbers. The answer will be five point one zero. That is as it is dropped. Minus symbol same taken. Finally, we have to subtract five point six minus. 5.10. We know how to subtract. We have done the subtractions, additions, and of the decimal numbers in the previous exercises. So if you do in the rough this subtraction, you will get 0.50. 0.50. That zero has no value. So I have ignored that 0.5. That becomes the answer for the first bit in the seventh question. I hope it is very clear for you. Clear no students? Then third bit, let us see. Third bit, zero point seven two of eighty divided by zero point two. Now the zero point seven two I have dropped. Half means into symbol. These two are related with to divided by symbol, so that in the bracket I have arranged. That is very clear now for you. Next, zero point seven two into 
that eight this eight is changed as eight hundred by zero point two written as just two because the zero has no value. That point which is after one digit was removed and was written only two. Just to remove that point which is after one digit, I have placed zero in the numerator. So eighty written as eight hundred in the next step. It's okay, no? Eighty written as eight hundred. Zero point two written as only two because point which is after one digit, I have removed in the denominator. Then I have. Written zero side of eighty that is eight hundred in the numerator. Then this point will be removed. Okay now. Then two table I have used to cancel. So one zero two, two four zero eight, and other two zeros I have dropped. So four hundred we got. Two ones two two times of four hundred is eight hundred. Denominator only one, no value. 400 should multiply with 0.72 in the rough form. You will get an answer called 288.00. We have already learned in the previous exercises the multiplication of decimal fractions or the decimal numbers. Same like that only we should multiply these two. 0.72 should be multiplied with 400 in the rough. Then we will get an answer two hundred eighty-eight point zero zero. That can also be written as two hundred eighty-eight because these two zeros are not having no value. That's why I have removed that part. Two hundred eighty-eight will be the answer for this question. Now here and there some sums are left by me. Those are of the same model in the question six as well as in the question seven. You have to revise them or the practice in any rough notes or in the practice notebook. And these sums you have to write in your classwork. I will take your photo and I will send to you the photo of it. I hope all the things are very clear for you. With this teaching, we have completed fourth chapter, exercise four F. In the next class or the next meet, we will discuss the chapter five. with the introduction and all those required we'll see that part okay students thank you